just cross fronts. You can do it outside or inside your house. We chose to do it in the field. You can have your skates on or sneakers on. We chose sneakers. You need a timing device. You can use your clock, a watch, or your phone. We chose the phone. What you're gonna do is you're gonna remain upright, don't bend at the waist, keep your arms out, and you can either cross your right foot over your left foot and then bring your left foot out and connect. Or you can do your left foot over your right foot, bring it out and connect. It's totally up to you. I will be doing the right foot, Hollis will be doing the left foot. We are going to stop, start our timer. Ready, Hollis? Ready. Three, two, one. Fifteen seconds left. So now we're going to be doing the cross and back. So I'm going to do my left foot behind my right and then meet with my right. And Hollis right here is going to be doing the opposite. So for this, you can use your phone, a stopwatch, any kind of timer, and you can do it inside or outside. Obviously, we're doing it outside. Uh, and also, you can use your gym shoes or you can use roller skates if you want. So you do it for 30 seconds and see how many you can do in 30 seconds. Ready? Ready. Okay, good job. The next skill that we, we will be doing is three alternating strokes. You can either do this inside or outside. We chose to do this outside and you can either use your gym shoes or you can do it on roller skates. For this activity, we will be having our arms straight out by our sides, having them over and then we'll be taking four steps like so. One, two, three, four. And then we'll be taking a step with our left foot meeting it with our right foot, then taking a step with our right foot, meeting it with our left foot. We will be doing three of these, and then we will also have someone timing us after our first um, attempt. Okay, ready, yeah. set, go. Perfect, so that was eight seconds. So, then your time would be eight seconds and then great job, you're done. Woo. The next skill is to shoot the duck. You can do it with skates or with your gym sneakers. You can do it inside or outside. I'm outside. You will need a timer. I have Hollis to time me. I will be doing shoot the duck and she will time me for how long I can stay in the position for. I have three tries to do this and the score I submit will be my fastest score. When you first you remain in a two, you remain standing and then you go into squat on one leg. Your leg that you're extending must be three to four inches off the ground. Ready? Ready. And the timer starts until after I extend my leg. Ready? Ready. arabesque. Now we can either be inside or outside. It's a beautiful day so we chose to be outside. You will also want to wear your gym shoes or you can wear your roller skates as well. You'll also need a timing device. In this case we're using a phone. For this activity you first will want to put your arms out wide and make sure that they're behind your sides. Then what you will want to do is take four steps like so. One, two, three, four. And then you will want to extend one of your legs backwards. The timing begins when your leg starts to extend backwards. 
for these next three tries, you will go through this activity three times and your longest score will be recorded as part of the results. Ready? Ready. Okay, go. Perfect, that was seven seconds, great job. Woo. Okay, so now we're gonna do a two foot jump from forward to backward with T-stop. So first thing you do is you take four opening steps. One, two, three, four. And then you jump with both of your feet and jump 180 degrees. So halfway, and then you jump back, and then you push with one foot, and then you do a T-stop. So you'll do this three times, and the longest of your three times is the one you submit. You can do it inside, outside, with roller skates, without, either way, all the other stuff still follows. So now I'll perform it. So, one, two, three, four, jump, jump back, push, and T-stop. Perfect.